domestication is all about survival. How animals move, how they feed, and how they protect themselves from predators in their natural habitat. Let's have a look at some of our animals and see how they're adapted for life in the sea. Sea stars are perfectly adapted for life in a really harsh habitat. They live where the waves crash and bash on them in the shallow water around the rocks. So they've got really tough skin and their bodies are really flat. Underneath their bodies they've got lots of little tube feet which help hold onto the rocks when the waves get really rough. They eat dead animals off the ocean floor. But their favourite food of all is algae. Algae grows on the rocks and on the sand. They crawl over the top of it, spit their tummy outside their mouth, they soak up the food across their tummy, then when they've had enough, they suck their stomach back inside their body again. Then they move on to the next section to do the same. A great adaptation for living in a harsh habitat. The black sea cucumbers have got a really cool adaptation. They've got specialised tube feet all the way around their mouth. It picks up the sand, puts it inside their body, they absorb the food out of the sand on the way through, whatever's not food, out the back door. They poo out clean sand. So they've got a really important job to do. They're cleaning the sand, but they're getting the food at the same time. Tropical sea cucumbers are a little bit different with the way they eat. They've got feeding branches all the way around their mouth with little sticky white ends on them. They hold them outside their body, the water rushes past and they trap little bits of food in them called plankton. They drag one branch at a time into their mouth in the middle, scrape that food off, the branch comes back out and another branch comes in and does the same. When they're not feeding, those branches come inside their body and you don't even get to see them at all. Sea urchins are really well adapted for life in amongst the rocks and the corals. They use their spines to protect themselves from being eaten by predators, but they also use them for walking along the bottom of the ocean looking for food. Some clever fish have learnt to flick them upside down and smash them and eat them from underneath, where their spines are short or they have no spines at all. So then the sea urchins use their spines to wedge in amongst the rocks and the corals so they can't get flicked upside down and eaten. The banded bamboo sharks are born with a really cool adaptation. They hatch out of their eggs with these beautiful brown and white bands along their bodies. This helps them to hide amongst the sand and the rocks so they don't get found by their predators and eaten. That's called camouflage. As they grow up and get bigger, those bands fade because they don't need them anymore because they're big enough and strong enough to look after themselves. As you can see, adaptations come in all different shapes and sizes, and it varies between all the different animals. But the one thing they all share is that it's all about their best chance of survival.